Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Two weeks ago, Ubiquity released two new accessories into the Unify Axis platform. So we have in our Axis Lock Electric and then the Axis Lock Magnetic. The electric is a door strike and the magnet is a mag lock. So we're going to take a look at both of those. In this video, we're just going to unbox both of them. I'm going to hook it up to a UA hub and we'll see how it works. This won't be a physical install on a job, but I do have a job where I could install an electric strike. If you'd like to see that, please leave it in the comments below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you like to watch live stream games, I do have a Twitch channel and I'll put that in the description below. So now let's take a look at what comes in the box with the Axis Lock Electric and the Axis Lock Magnet. First, we're going to look at the Axis Electric Strike. On the top, we have this foam pad that comes with a couple mounting brackets and then these clips that would tie in our cables. So the cable from the strike to the door wire, whatever you're using, if you're using an 18.2. And we'll use these when we're connecting it to the access hub. And then it comes with a couple different screws. Below that, we have the access strike, which is actually pretty nice looking. On the top, we have this first faceplate, which we can take off and change it out for a different faceplate. On the bottom, you can see this screw and it says fail safe and fail secure. So if you have this on fail safe and power goes out, the electric strike will always be open. But if you change that to fail secure by moving the pin over, then this will stay closed when the power goes out. Now for a lot of places, you're going to want to have your electric strikes on fail secure. So if the power goes out, the strike stays locked. So how we do that, we get our Phillips screwdriver and we unscrew the screw a little bit. Once it's up enough, we just need to slide it over to the fail secure side and then screw it back down in place. So if the power ever goes out, now this electric strike will stay locked. Underneath the strike, we have a bunch of different mounting templates for your different doors, which is really great. I've used a lot of different type of strikes and they usually don't come with these different type of mounting templates. You can see that they give us four different ones here and these are stickers. So it will make the cutting out of your door a lot easier. And on the bottom, we have the bigger mount. So all we would need to do is unscrew this smaller one and put the new one on top. The Unify Axis Electric Strike comes in at $60 USD MSRP. Now let's take a look at the Axis Mag Lock. And this is the Axis Mag Lock, which comes in two different models. They have one that holds up to 600 pounds and one that holds up to 1200 pounds. This is the one that holds up to 600 pounds and it's $130 USD MSRP. For the one that holds up to 1200 pounds, it's $160 MSRP. So let's get this opened up. On the top of the box, it looks like we have a bunch of different brackets for the mag lock. So let's take it out. This looks like it would be a plate that would go above your door. And then we have one side of the magnet. And here is the other side that will be connecting to our Unify Access. And on the bottom, we have another bracket and then a box with some accessories inside. So we'll take a look at what comes in there. Okay, so in this bag, there looks like there's just a bunch of different screws and different anchors. So let's open it up. And this hardware kit comes with everything you're going to need to mount this mag lock. We're obviously not going to be mounting it. We're just going to be connecting it to our Unify Access. I don't usually put up mag locks as there's fire safety issues with that. And you need to get it signed off by fire code. So we stay away from mag locks. We usually do electric strikes. Now let's first test out the mag lock. So I have an 18-2 cable here and what we need to do, we have these little clips that were provided to us. We're just going to open those up and then I'll put my red end in on one and then clip it down. And then on the mag lock side, I'll put the red end in and then clip it down. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the black side. These two wires, the white and the orange, are used for our DPS, which I'm not going to hook up right now. We can see the mag lock isn't magnetized right now, so we need to get it connected to our Unify Access Hub. On our UA Access Hub, the red side is going to go to the powered 12 volt 1 amp NC port, and the other one is going to go to the powered 12 volt 1 amp COM port. Now with the mag lock connected, we can see that the magnet will not come off. And even if I did as much pressure as I could, I wouldn't be able to get it off because it uses 600 pounds of pressure. But if we use my card that is set up to swipe through these doors, it will unlock. And now we can see that the mag releases and we're able to get in through the door. So let's get the electric strike hooked up. So I currently have this electric strike in fail secure, so it will stay locked when it doesn't have power to it. So we need to do the same thing with the clips. On our 18.2, we're gonna put the red conductor in, press down, and then on our electric strike, we'll put it in on the same side. Now we'll grab our second clip and we'll put the black conductor in, 
and then we'll grab the black wire from the strike and put that in as well and crimp it down. Now the cabling on the UA hub is going to be different than the mag lock as the mag lock is always in fail safe. So it's always going to be opened if the power goes out. Since I have this electric strike on the fail secure, we need to put our red cable on normally open and then our black cable under the COM port. We can see the lock is still engaged and if we swipe our card over the reader, it's now open so we'll be able to get in and out of the doors. So that's going to be it for this video on the Unify Axis Electric Strike and the Maglock. I really like the quality of both of these. They feel like they're high quality and the cable that's connected to both of them is relatively thick compared to other ones that I've used. Like I said, I may do a video of me cutting an electric strike into a door frame. So if you'd like to see that, put it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.